Okay, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a uh, tutorial video here for combat. So I'm kind of further along in the game, so you might not, you probably don't have nearly as much if you're needing uh, orientation. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna pull everything out here. So every ability, this is one of your first abilities, Crash. Um, of course, you're gonna wanna use that because it's a basic attack. Um, but everything has your primary and your secondary um, role. So like if you uh, if you use it as an upgrade instead of an active slot, um, it'll stun and disrupt target. So it actually would be really good to use with ping. Um, like if I had ping on circle, and used, used this as a modifier, then I could stun because, so ping is a really rapid firing weapon. Um, so if I put these two together, I would not only be doing damage to them repeatedly quickly, because it's, it's um, turn planning cost, it's only 10, so it's really low. You can use, you can shoot four rounds a second. So if you have stagger, with it, yeah, you, if you're only fighting a few enemies, you could probably do pretty well with that kind of a setup. Um, but I'm not really a big fan of ping. It's just not my style. Um, so what I normally use, I use I use crash on X. Oh yeah, and that's another thing too, is I have this uh, stealth mask. It's... Um, it makes it so you're invisible. If you if you're using it, you can be concealed. They won't see you for like 15 seconds or something like that, um, which is actually pretty decent because there's quite a bit with um, just avoiding uh, being able to get behind cover and getting away from the fight, waiting for your next turn. So that's not a bad one to use, but I have it as a um, passive slot. You have your passive slot. I only have one passive slot unlocked yet. Um, and I'm about halfway through the game, I think. So I still have to unlock the other three. But yeah, so net with it as a passive, um, I'll become undetectable after I destroy a target. But it's only for like half a second. It still gives you a chance to get away, though, because you go faster, too. It actually speeds you up for a little bit so you can get out of the fight and get behind cover and then wait for your next turn to start. So that's a really good passive. Um, so I have that. I also use... Um, breach is really good. I always have breach equipped, so I normally have that equipped here. Oh yeah, and I also need to put. I like to put this. This is really jaunt is really useful if you are like a third in the game. There's these little egg things that shoot. It's like mortars, and it's really useful as a, having it active then because you can escape. But I actually normally just go into my turn and just get out of the blast radius and then that's how i've been avoiding them so i use jaunt as a uh as the uh supportive role to crash and that makes it so you can fire it instantly and yeah you don't have any you can use it while you're waiting for your next turn so that i always have on crash because crash you can also use if you get behind an enemy you can use it to stun them. So not only if you're, you're doing back um, backstabbing damage, extra damage, you also can like knock them down. So normally I get behind them and I'll use one crash and then I'll use two of the uh, breach because they do like 100 damage. You also get this bomb pretty early, this load. For a while I had no idea what to use it for. Um, but I figured out, yeah, like you just put down this thing and then I was like, I was expecting it to explode, but you just like drop it and it's just there and it is really powerful. It's, um, it's does 250 damage, which is really pretty good, but, uh, yeah, it just sits there. So I found out if you place it, then you use crash and yeah, it takes the impact for it to go off, but actually you like smack it a little bit across the stage and then it blows up so it's actually pretty useful um, and I use it in conjunction with the spark and it like turns into a bunch of little ones so there, there's so many different combinations um, but I have actually been using load and I've been uh, where have I been putting that at yeah I think it has been there 
Um, this, yeah, bounce is good for causing chain reactions. Oh yeah, I've also was putting this as um, this is a really good secondary. You can put it on any of your attacks, and then whatever you're hitting, they become your ally for a little while. So I'll like get close to something and hit them with crash or whatever and get their life down and then my last attack i'll hit them with whatever i have this assigned to and turn them into an ally so they're already weakened and they'll go and fight for you and then the other enemies will normally kill it off for you so you don't have to worry about it and they're doing damage at the same time um this i've been using me ping actually with um breach because it speeds it up and it does a little bit more damage um, what else do I have to assign here? This, I'm waiting for it. I lost it in the last battle I was in, so I'm waiting for it to refresh, because that, that's actually really powerful. Um, it's a really good move. But yeah, that's crazy deep system. There's so many different things, different combinations you can do. I'm really kind of curious to see what other people have done i haven't really looked at it but there's so many different things you can do in this game it's a really interesting combat system i like the way you can do the turn based and do the um just like regular brawler combat bounce what have i been using bounce with too i have been using that with something i can't remember mm. I don't know. I think I will combine Spark with this, though. That's a good combination for now. Spawn a friendly bad cell. That would be a pretty good passive, too. Yeah, I'll put that on there. Oh, yeah. Bounce would actually be good here. Yeah, I'll do that for now. It's a decent loadout. So maybe see, hopefully I don't run into any kind of a spoiler here. If I could find a simple little battle, I could show a little bit how the system works. Maybe not though, it looks like it might be spoilers. Why are they even here? Yeah, that's probably good enough information there though. <laughs> 